Hi everyone, it's Kuni Hiro. Thank you for coming back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make gyudon, a Japanese beef bowl. It's a dish made by simmering thinly sliced beef and onion in sweet soy based broth, then served on top of steamed rice. It's a very popular comfort food here in Japan, so let me show you how to make it. Alright, so these are today's ingredients. By the way, today's recipe is for 2 to 3 people. So here, I have 300 grams of thinly sliced beef and one big onion. And here is some salt. I'm going to use a little bit of it when I cook the onion. And here are the ingredients for the broth. So I have 400 milliliters of water, 1 tablespoon of hondashi, instant dash powder, 3 tablespoons of soy sauce, 3 tablespoons of sake, 2 tablespoons of mirroring, 1 tablespoon of sugar, and 1 big piece of fresh ginger. And these two are common toppings for gyudon. This is beni shoga, which is red pickle ginger, and this is shichimi togarashi, which is Japanese 7 spices. These two are commonly served on the side, allowing you to add them as toppings if you want to enjoy a change in taste. But these two are totally optional, today's gyudon will be delicious without them. So first, let me talk about beef. I assume some of you watching this video have tried making gyudon before, but the meat became tough and dry and not very tasty. I think this is because you used meat with less fat. The ideal meat for making delicious gyudon is super thin sliced beef with lots of fat like this one. In Japan, this type of beef is called gyubara, meaning beef belly. It has plenty of fat and red meat itself is tender. But it might be hard to find this type of beef outside of Japan. So today, I will show you how to make delicious gyudon using this thinly sliced beef shoulder loin instead, which is relatively leaner, more muscular, and tends to be tougher. I think this one is a lot easier to find in Asian grocery stores near you. By the way, today's cooking method can also be used with the already tender beef belly. It makes the tender beef even softer. So how do we tenderize this leaner and more muscular beef? The answer is, we use this onion. So first, please cut off both ends of the onion. Then cut the onion in half. Peel the skin. And grate half the onion. If you are afraid of damaging your hand, you don't have to grate it all. You can use the leftover onion together with the remaining half. Then get the sliced beef, put the grated onion over it. And mix them gently with your hand. By doing this, the enzymes released from the grated onion will gradually break down the muscle fibers of the beef, making the meat more tender over time. So please cover it with plastic and let it rest in the fridge for 30 minutes. So while waiting for the beef to be softened, let's prepare all the other ingredients. Please cut the remaining half of the onion lengthwise along the grain. By cutting it this way, more crunchiness tends to remain after cooking. The thickness of each slice should be about 1 cm. Also slice the leftover onion from earlier. And after cutting, please separate all the layers, so they will cook faster in the pan. Alright, the onion is done. Next, let's cut the ginger. Start by slicing the ginger thinly. Then line them up like this and cut them into thin strips.
put them on a small dish and the ginger is done and since gyudon is a rice bowl dish please don't forget to cook rice so rinse the rice for a few times until the water becomes relatively clear by the way I'll be cooking two cups of rice today and when cooking rice for rice bowl dishes I recommend cooking it with slightly less water this way the rice won't be mushy when you pour a flavorful broth over it turn on the rice cooker then your rice will be ready before the gyudon topping is done 30 minutes later please take the beef out of the fridge and your beef will look like this and it's good to go okay now that we have finished all the preparations let's start cooking Please get a large frying pan. I'll be using an 11 inch pan today. Then add 1 tablespoon of vegetable oil to the frying pan and turn on the heat to medium. And once the frying pan has become hot and the oil has become runny like this, please add the onion to the pan. Then sprinkle a pinch of salt over them. The salt will help the onion cook faster and bring out the flavor of the onion. And we'll saute the onion slices until they become golden brown. Browning the onion slices will bring the best flavor out of them. To make a delicious gyudon, it's crucial to ensure the onion becomes just as flavorful as the beef. If the beef tastes great but the onion doesn't, your final product will be disappointing. And to achieve a beautiful browning at this stage, please do not touch them too often. So I recommend flipping them only once a minute. Okay, it looks great. So once the onion has turned golden brown like this, take it out of the pan and set it aside. Next, to the same pan, we will add all the broth ingredients. So please add 400 milliliters of water and one tablespoon of instant dash powder. So now you have dash broth in the pan. Then add 3 tablespoons of soy sauce. It will add saltiness and nice soy sauce aroma. Then 3 tablespoons of sake. Sake will give richness and depth to the dish while reducing the strong meat smell. Then 2 tablespoons of mirin. Mirin will add a distinctive, smooth and gentle sweetness. Then add 1 tablespoon of sugar. Sugar will add more straightforward sweetness. So by combining sugar and mirin, you can create depth to the overall sweetness. Then please add ginger. It will add a hint of ginger flavor. Now please give it a mix until all the sugar dissolves. And once the sugar has dissolved, turn the heat to medium. And add all the beef slices and grated onion to the pan. Then please gently separate the beef slices in the broth. By adding the meat while the broth is still cold, you can prevent the meat from forming lumps. Also the grated onion will add natural sweetness to the broth, so that we don't have to add the sliced onion at this point. If we add the sliced onion to the broth now, it will be way too soft by the time gyudon is ready. So you can think of the grated onion as a way to enhance the broth while the sliced onion is meant for eating deliciously. Next, while waiting for the broth to boil, we'll make a droplet using aluminum foil. Please cut the aluminum foil to the size that covers the surface of the frying pan Then crumple it like this and flatten it back out.
finally make a hole in the center and a few more holes like this. And it's ready. Now let's get back to the pan. And when the broth starts boiling like this, turn the heat to low. And put the droplet directly over the beef. And we'll simmer it for 20 minutes and slowly let it cook down. During those 20 minutes, the broth will be concentrated more and become more flavorful. A long simmering time will allow the beef to soften even more and absorb the delicious broth better. By the way, at this point, the heat should be around this level and your broth should look like this under the foil with a slightly bubbling surface. And if your foil is not covering the entire surface like mine, please move the beef around every 5 minutes so that all the beef will cook evenly and become tender. After simmering for 17 minutes, please add the sliced onion you cooked earlier. Give it a quick mix. And continue simmering for just 3 more minutes. Since the broth is already rich and flavorful, the sliced onion will quickly absorb all those delicious flavors. After 3 more minutes of simmering, turn off the heat. And from here, please let it rest for 5 minutes in this state and cool down a bit. By doing this, all the flavors will settle and your gyudon will become even more delicious. And 5 minutes later, take off the foil and it's done. So please get a big bowl of rice and top it with lots of beef and onion. Then pour the flavorful broth over it. And in the end, add color to the dish with beni shoga if you have it. And that's it. Your delicious gyudon is ready. The tenderly simmered beef infused with flavorful broth, the onion with a perfect texture, and the rice that has absorbed the rich broth all come together to make this gyudon delicious. Alright, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. So if you did, please give me a like and leave a comment below. Also, if you haven't already, Please subscribe to my channel and follow me on X. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye bye. Mmm,おいしい! うん、美味しい。